Hi everyone, in this video we're going to respond to a question I got in the community where uh, Gan had the question saying he's having a few challenges figuring out how to work when the calculated value control is now missing. So there's a couple of ways we might resolve this and he's saying I have a SharePoint list lookup, look list lookup control uh, so he's selecting something from a list and I wanted to display the lookup value of a contact person so um, and he's saying something about uh, dynamically when I change the selection it's not working. So if we come back to our project site, which we've looked at before, um, so Gan might be selecting Division Road, and he's trying to select um, C Yvonne, uh, and it's not actually appearing. So how would I go about building this? So um, let's go to my hazard report, which we've looked at before. We might have actually already built this out, but let's go through the process again, and we'll look at two different ways I would actually do this. So again, what we're doing is we're going to make a selection of site, and we actually want to show the project manager. So we actually have it here already, but let's assume we don't have that. So let's go and clean up our variables. Let's say, um, let's do it all over again. Let's say, uh, let's get a number and he's got a drop down here and I'm going to delete that. So we build it all over again and delete that. So we're not cheating, delete that one. Okay. And we've got some rules we need to clean up. And he's got some variables, get project management, delete that, so I'm not cheating. Up to state we can get rid of. So let's just get rid of everything. Let's just start from the beginning, so I'm not cheating. Rules, oh, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, so now if we go to preview, and what we see is this will be looking up to the list we see here. So it's pretty simple, I'll step through what this is doing. So it's going to my um, site of process first, it's going to project sites and selecting the site. So process first, uh, project sites, and selecting the site. Pretty simple, nothing special going on there yet. Now what Gan is saying, he actually wants to show some more detail in a different control. Now I'm going to assume that Gan wants to show it in like a text short. So a calculated value kind of looks like a text short, I guess you could say, or it's a little label, but we're gonna do both. We're gonna say a text short, and we're also gonna do a label as well. So the first thing we might wanna do, let's do the label first. First thing I'm going to do is when we make a selection here, just show me what that actually looks like. So what we do is we come to the label and we go insert and we'll create a variable and we'll say show um, show me the lookup control value. That's as many characters as you get. And we'll go form and we've got our lookup. I think it's sites. Okay, create and insert and go preview. So once we come here, select that, and this is the value that comes out because behind the scenes, while the dropdown shows you the human readable value there, it's actually got a delimiter of semicolon hash and then the ID of the SharePoint list item. And that's all well and good, but what Gan is saying, he, he wants to actually see a different property. He doesn't just wanna see, he can already see this value, so why would he see it again? He actually wants to see, let's say he's hypothetically talking about project manager. He actually wants to look at the project manager. So then we come back to the variable and we can create a new one. We'd say um, what we want to do is first we want to get the ID. So we need to go pass lookup. And if we go into here, we go pass lookup, pass lookup. And so that says you pass in the lookup value. So that's our... Um, that's our variable before, which I've forgotten the name of. Um, I should remember I called it. Um, oh, show me the lookup. Okay, show me the lookup. So we insert that. So close that bracket there. And so what this is doing is it's taking the value of this one. So it's just what I've selected in the drop down and take a section of that. Now the pars lookup, if we have a look at that, pars lookup, oops, wrong area, pars lookup, it can either separate out, separate out the, the ID or the value. So you can either put true or false. So if I put, uh, let's do, this is true first, um, pars lookup true, and then we're gonna make another one and do pars lookup false. So I'm just gonna copy this, just it makes it a bit quicker. Copy, update, a new variable, and we'll call this false, just so you can see what it does. Um, pars lookup false. Okay, so then we come back to the designer and we're gonna put a couple more variables in here. And we're gonna say pars lookup true. 
and pass look up false and we'll just see what app, co app, app comes out at the end okay so go to preview and I select farm coast circle and so now what you can see here is pass look up true gives me the value selected here and pass look up false gives me the ID now this is building up to something so what GAN was saying was I actually want a column from that list not the actual selected value so then what GAN can do is he can actually say well I've got the ID now what I can do is say create a variable and I say do a lookup function and we go lookup and we can now see the syntax so we're going to say lookup project manager the name's not important it's whatever you need it to be so the list name is project sites we come here the list name is project sites the second part is the filter column name so the column we're going to filter on so if we pass a value to it what column we're we filtering on we're going to use ID because we got the ID from the pass lookup function next what value so what are we going to query on so we're going project sites give me the list give me one of the items in this list and I'm going to pass in number nine for instance now I'm not going to pass in number nine it's going to be based on the pass lookup false now you could just actually do pass lookup false here and so you could say pass lookup uh, pass lookup function and you can build it all in or you could reference your other variables I'd probably say just type it in directly because you don't need all those variables sitting around so what you're going to do is pass in the uh, sites which is the lookup control and you're going to say false um, and so that's saying whatever has been selected in the drop down so get that and also give me the ID so the pass lookup is, is false and it's going to give me the ID and then it's finally asking me what column do you want from this list so we're going to say project manager so we're going to say project manager so it is quite complex it's quite a complex function but it's also quite powerful so just recapping this look up I'm going to look up to the project sites which is different from this site this is the hazard report I'm going to do a filter on the ID column I'm going to pass in the value of the lookup control but it's the ID not the value and not the concatenated value just the ID and then finally we're saying well once I've got that filtered item give me the project manager now we'll go and press create and we'll put that into our label and see how that went not everything works first time so we'll see if I've done that done that correctly or not so look up project manager we'll insert that we'll go to preview okay so it's gone and found now this is a list of a um, thousand items so it's pretty long so I could put in twin where I want uh, twin pines crossing and here you see, you see it's got uh, the name come through so it's got the, this is just the value passed in from lookup got just pass lookup is true just give me the text pass lookup is false it just gives me the ID with the pass lookup we're actually able to do that lookup to that person there and I'm not going to go and find the 311th oh, let's do it let's find the 311th item it's going to take a little bit of time as SharePoint loads all this stuff up takes a little bit of time but just to prove a point Twin Pines, Leanne is the project manager. So that's how you can actually get the value out. Now, what Garn is saying, well, what if I wanted it in a field? So what you could then do is you could say, well, add new, and you might say um, set the set the value, um, and you could say if um, site sites is filled, which is you know they've made a selection from the lookup control. Then you could say, um, put in the control that I just put down would be text short, I assume. Text short, and you could say value, and you'd insert, and you could put your, ver your variable in there. So you could go look up project manager. So just clicking on that allows you to put that variable in there, create rules. So if we come back to preview, and so nothing's been put in there. If I select something, it goes off and finds Quinton Scroggs. So I could go and change that 
and you can see that dynamically updating. So you really have the power and flexibility to do whatever you want to do. Now, you if you wanted to have this like the calculated value, you could also just say uh, text short. So we could do type ahead in here now as well, which is handy. So text short and value. And then you could say, uh, not value, we want to do read only is true. And then you could also do read only is false if you didn't want, if you wanted the opposite as well. So we'll go update the value, update the rule, sorry. So we go select uh, twin pines, twin pines crossing, and we can see all these details come through and then it finally populates that field in there. So it really depends on how you want it to be displayed. Do you just want it to be a label or do you want it to be a field or however you want it to be. So that gives you all the options, but basically that's how you'd get it done again. Hopefully that's helpful to you. Um, you don't have to have all this detail sitting here, so you can come back to the designer and we could actually delete this. We don't actually need it anymore. Go to preview and behind the scenes, this will still actually st um, go and process that so you can see that value coming through. Hope that's helpful to you. Let me know in the comments. Cheers.